Today, I'm going to show you how to pick up girls in Python. This is the easiest way to do it, and it requires two easy steps. And I'll let you know that in a bit. But first, I need to say something, and it's obviously the case that I'm a womanizer. You can tell by the appearance, you can tell by the voice, you can tell by the channel. And so clearly what I say is the best way of doing this. It's not meant to be taken funnily. It's not meant to be sarcasm, satire, sassiness. It's just, it is truth. So I found this website called Paired Life, and you know that it's probably good because it's got ads coming up for vacuums, and so it's sponsored by Fortnite too. They have a hundred plus flirty pickup lines, and I guarantee these will work because they're from the internet. I mean, they wouldn't put it there if it didn't work, right? But what we gotta do is we gotta load these in Python. We're gonna make a program to take one of these pickup lines at random, and we're gonna send it. That way when we have 20, a uh, woman coming at you if you're a womanizer you don't have to come up with a new one each time it's just random so what you're gonna do you're gonna click f12 it's gonna bring up your like coding panel here it's got all the the stuff here and you see you got this beautiful file here it's uh, got all the stuff from this page organized nicely right you got like the my dog wants to know you come over pick up lines so what you want to do is you want to copy this whole file and save it as a text file then you're gonna open up your Jupyter Notebook, right? We got NumPy, we got Read, we got HTML. We're gonna load this in, create our random pickup line generator. Boom, everyone gets a pickup line. We're gonna open up all the lines and let's see what we got here, right? We got uh, just a bunch of mess, really, right? If you say like uh, 970 times 90 ampersand quote semicolon, they won't really get the meaning there. It's it's not, um, it's not uh, sexy, it's not bold. It's gotta get rid of all the crap there. So we're gonna go through all the lines here. And I wanna find the part where the flirty text start, right? That's that's what you gotta go for. That's what people love is flirty pickup lines when you've never met someone before ever. Gotta get the lines of interest. That's lines 140 to 60. That's where the list comes with all the lines here. So we got all our lines and we can look at our pickup lines here. Right, so now we got some good ones here. We got like 20. We can like just randomly select one, give it to someone, you know? Could you stop being attractive? You're driving me crazy. Like, just, I admit that you're on my mind more than just sometimes. They might be confused that, that you know who they are. They might be scared, but um, yeah, it's from the website, so it's gotta be legit. Then we can get our random pickup lines to give people, right? Like, just so you know, we're going on a date tonight. This, people love this, right? It's like saying, you're gonna do exactly what I say and I've never met you before. Random pickup lines seem to be doing their job, as in they've messaged back. But I'm starting to have this um, belief that maybe they're not as interested as all of the other people I've ever dealt with before. So I've come up with a way that we're going to continue the conversation. Who is the two most romantic people of all time? Right? Besides me. Romeo and Juliet. Hmm. Get this. Shakespeare artist, wrote plays. This is good stuff. Train a neural network on Shakespeare's plays. Then I can generate the conversation. What would Romeo say to Juliet if Juliet said, I'll pass, right? It would play itself out. They would come together. So I got this big old neural network here that's gonna take in uh, my message, the first um, casting of the line, the response, which was maybe receptive, who knows? Pass, like pass the ball, right? That's that's a good sign in soccer. Here we got Romeo and I'm saying the pickup line, uh, Juliet responds, it ends and then the neural network will generate whatever the rest of this conversation will be. Me, Romeo saying, hello, this is me making the first move. Your turn, just like me, Romeo, just like them, Juliet. Same sort of chemistry, Juliet, I'll pass. Romeo, excellent response. What is the fashion at hand? How will you pass? Juliet, it is the prettiest time of the year when the flowers best do we do that or flows, right? The city's Dean Romeo, she cares about the flowers. She was passing because it's gonna be a nice day out. Romeo says that's a plot thickly foiled. Thickly, like thickens, like th 
thistles, right? It's very poetic. Another possible scenario. Romeo, this is me making the first move. Your turn, I'll pass. Romeo, you'll trouble. You'll be troubled. <laughs> you'll be troubled if you pass. You better not. Come hither, Juliet. I'll help you smooth your face. I don't know what that means, Romeo. This is not me. This is the neural network. I don't know what it's learning from Shakespeare. I am so royally overeager. As soon as he says, I'll help you smooth your face, she is royally overeager that I would seek to blemish on my face. Mm. I would you did but see her straight. <laughs> Whatever that means. But by my holodam, sir, my face is not so pretty after an earnest medley. I don't know. Neural ne uh, what's going on here? All right, we got another scenario. This is me making the first move. Your turn. I'll pass. And then Romeo says, I'll wait upon you. you. You might be passing now, but I'll wait until you go. Blah, 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 blah. Spirits. Shakespeare. Oh, turns out she has a small child. Well, that's always possible on Tinder. You never know what is going on. I think I'm going to use this one. What is the matter, my heart? It lets the lady know that you love her already after just meeting her for the first time. And it will see what happens. Okay, so clearly I think the AI lied here. This isn't what it was supposed to do. Um, based on my intelligence, the artificial intelligence, uh, there was supposed to be a, a story about um, a serpent laughing, a snake, a prince, but you know, I, I didn't quite get this response. And so this is very unusual for me. So in conclusion, you can pick up girls on Python, it's easy. You gotta use your pickup line generator and then you use an AI to determine the optimal way to carry through the conversation. This is the best way of doing it.